Hello there, and welcome to Alvarez's Diecast Customs. Now today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be going through some questions that I've been asked by some of my subscribers. First off, we've got Bob here from Deep Dunk Garage. He's asked me, where do I acquire my goddesses with the large womanly features that brings you the wheels and tires? He may, looks like he wants to get some of them so he can get some cold snacks and other bits and bobs. So. Yep, I sure can help you out there, Bob. I'm just going to go through the ones that I've got here. As you can see, I've got quite a bit of a collection already. I get these all directly from Japan, from a company called Solaris Japan. The link will be down in the description box below, but you know, they sort of range from prices, pretty cheap ones from like $20 or £20 onwards, upwards to maybe 100 So yeah, check down there. Next up is uh, Mr. Jim Silver, and he wants to know if my first name is Alva and my second name is Red. He's also, in, also inquiring about the goddesses. Are they actually sculpted using your wife as the model? Yes. Anyway, yes, my name is uh, actually Keki. I'm named after a racing driver called Keki Rosberg. It's a bit of a weird name, but I'm alright with it. But here's some pictures of some of my previous models that Jim was alluring to as well. This was a model of a sort of a video game ship. I did maybe over 10 years ago. Here's some Tamiya and Hasegawa models I did as well. This is going back years. I, I stopped doing these for a long time. But I was also very much into uh, RC cars. Really did enjoy playing with these when I was a bit younger, when I could afford a lot more stuff. And I didn't have children, I should say. The children definitely take up a lot of your money these days. Yeah, I was really into these, I used to race them, really into the trophy trucks as you can see with these HPI ones. I dabbled it in a bit of um, sort of um, what they call nitro cars. These are quite fun, a bit of a hassle to get running though. You spent more time tinkering with them than you did playing with them. I mostly enjoyed the electric stuff, especially with the Tamiya things and HPIs. And there's this Tamiya DB1. I used to race this one. It's all sort of upgraded lipo batteries and things really good fun that one was I do like the buggies here's one of my original RC cars a Tamiya Mini Cooper a bit upgraded on this one it's a bit of a missile to be honest I fitted in a brushless 10 turn motor with the lipo packs absolute rocket pretty much uncontrollable but when it's going nearly 60 miles an hour, it's a bloody good laugh. And here we go, we've got some more. Got this old Tamiya Toyota Celica GT4, which is running on the TL01 chassis, which was long retired back in the 90s. This good Lancia Delta. This is on the TT01 chassis, it's just a standard road going car. That's running brushless as well. We also did a bit of customization on them. I got this Tamiya buggy champ which I went for a death race look for it I actually make the uh, Frankenstein driver in there as well also got a Tamiya sand scorcher had a few upgrades on this guy you can see the alloy wheels other bits and pieces that ran on lipos as well and here's my wife's RC car little Tamiya sand viper great little thing this was really quick very easy to drive especially for sort of a beginner as my wife was Still play with it these days as well, it's good fun. It's definitely lasted its time. Nearly 12 years old this thing is. So yeah. So we got Gotham City Ironworks as well. Which is uh, just having a good old fun. I, I, I love it when this guy comments on my things. I always have a bit of a good smirk and a laugh over what he has to say. One of my favourite commenters. Yeah, just on about taking some time which I'll get on to later got Vader 44 how did you uh, how did you learn to do diecast customs well I kind of just learned myself to be honest um, I used to work in a model shop over tw 12 years ago so I sort of learned from there picked up a few things 
mostly just did model kits for displays and um, used to sell the Tamiya cars and all that. So I learned a few bits from that, but most of it was self-taught. I would say about a year ago, I went onto, onto YouTube and just in my recommended feed, there were some videos from Diecast Resurrection. I wasn't into Hot Wheels or anything at the time, but I decided just to check it out. And I was like, I was hooked on them really. I, I got really into watching him customize his cars. I got into Danny's Diecast Disasters and Outlaw Speed Shop. I just really started to get a feel for it myself and I started doing a few myself. Enjoyed doing it. I thought maybe I could do a video over it. Maybe someone else would like to see what I've got to sh got here. So yeah, I just started putting together a few customs. People were liking what I was doing. I really didn't think YouTube was really going to take off for me. To be honest, I thought I'd barely get a hundred subscribers and just call it a day because I'd had enough of it. But yeah, it really started picking up. I just got a lot of interest in it. Some really good people in the community. Good old Jim Silver, been there from the beginning. And Bob at Deep Junk Garage, Keith over at Outlaw Speed Shop, Danny at Diecast Disasters, all just really good people. Really good fun to chat with. And there's a load of other people I've made friends with on here as well. Just really appreciate all the sort of friendships and laughs we can have. I really don't take the thing seriously, to be honest. Uh, as you may have noticed, um, my upload schedule's not exactly the most frequent. I kind of just put them up when they're ready. As Jim and me were saying a while ago, sort of having a chat, we're just saying, why put the stress on yourself to try to push out a video or two every week? It's not the way to do it. It's not a job. You don't get paid by it. I mean, this, this stuff costs you money. So yeah, I just take my time with it. I'll get like a video up every couple of weeks to three weeks. Get this just literally when it's ready, the videos will be up. So I do apologize for some sort of quietness over a, over a few weeks time, but it's just the way it is. I have other hobbies and things that I do. I can't full time this thing. I do work full time myself anyway. I have a job and three kids and two dogs and a wife to look after. Yeah, a lot of side hobbies other than this. I just like to do different things quite regularly. And I'm just going looking through some of my cars, as you can see here, that I've done over the past year. Some really standout ones that I'm looking at. Oddly enough, this Chevy, um, a very simple custom, but proved to be one of my most popular videos, which was strange. But yeah, just. Let me know down there what, what cars you like, what I was picking out there, or what you would like to see more of. So we're just going to go on to some things that I do myself, aside from this diecast customs. I do like doing a bit of artwork. I have been doing this near on 20 years odd onwards, I would say. I do like to do the furry artwork, the anthropomorphic stuff. Love it or hate it. It's up to you, I don't mind. It's just it's just what I'm into. I like doing it, have a bit of fun, great community that I've got with it. A lot of friends. It's very popular with um sort of the people that I have in my sort of fans. I would say fan club, I don't know. But just a lot of people really interested in what I come up with on this stuff. Links down in the description if you're at all interested, but do beware, it's uh it's definitely not for youngsters, it's uh, a lot of nudity and 18 plus stuff not pornography just nudity but yeah a lot of stuff I've done hundreds of pictures and I'm quite a gamer as well been gaming since I would say the late 80s back on the Atari and the uh, Commodore 64 and later on the Mega Drive onwards to the Sega Saturn Dreamcast currently I'm mostly just a PC gamer that's where I spend the majority of my gaming time. I'm just going to go through some of my standout video games over my time. There we go, we got the uh, Streets of Rage 2 on the Mega Drive. You remember back when uh, video games used to come on solid cartridges like that? You used to just chuck them in, stick them in the top of this console. It wouldn't work, you'd have to blow on it. It would eventually fire up. We got the Burning Rangers for the Sega Saturn. 
one of my favourite games. It's a really fun game. I go around as like a firefighter in a futuristic setting trying to save people. It's one of the standout games in my collections. And this one, probably the most important game for me, Panzer Dragoon Saga. I would say the probably my most favourite game ever. Absolutely adore this game. It pretty much is who I am nowadays with my gaming sort of history and what I'm into now. That pretty much paved the way for it. There we are onto the Sega Dreamcast stuff. We got the Shemu 2. Another one of my favourite games. I was really into these back in the day, sort of early 2000s. Just really love the storylines for things. I'm really into story heavy games. Along with the racing games, as you'll see next, I uh, really love this back on the Sega Dreamcast Revolt. You race RC cars and use sort of little power ups. Kind of like Mario Kart, but a bit more simulation based. Really good fun. Love that thing. And good old Resident Evil, especially Resident Evil 2, was my pick of the bunch. Absolutely love this game. I do love the adventure games like this, especially with a bit of horror in them. Used to speedrun this game back in the day, managed to beat it in under an hour on the Leon character on the first scenario. Onto something a bit more modern, we got the PlayStation 4. One of my favourite games recently was Secure Wars, a very story driven game, just really good fun. And onto the Xbox, the Xbox One more specifically, we got the Forza, Forza Motorsport 7. I really love the Forza Motorsport franchise, especially the Horizon games. Which if you ever want to play with me on there, hit me up on my gamer tag, which is just linked down below, Alvarez Azel. I'm always up for gaming on these games. Forza, any of the Motorsport games and any of the Horizon games, I've got them all, so hit me up. And also Skate. Not much of you will know really, but I'm really into skateboarding. I've been skateboarding since my early 20s, and I still skateboard nowadays in my late 30s. So, yeah, really into skateboarding, and this was one of my favourite games back then. Really into it. So next we got up Nintendo Switch and Nintendo Wii games. These two are at Xenoblade Chronicles. Probably one of the best games I've played in the last 10 years. Really good games. And you can see there's the sequels there, you've got Xenoblade Chronicles 2 and X. Just such good games. Over a thousand hours worth of gameplay there and time spent on it for me on those games. Absolutely adore them. And the next up is uh, one of my all time favourite games on the PC, which I still play now, is Guild Wars 2, which is a sort of online multiplayer MMORPG. Got some screenshots of my characters on here been playing this near on seven years now I've got my got my own guild with a few friends in there very good close friends we game quite regularly and have a good old laugh I'll put the link down in the description as well if you ever want to add me on there bear in mind I am on the European servers so if you're from the US you will not be able to play with me but yeah if you're on the EU feel free to add me and I'm always up for doing some dungeons or just roaming or just having a bit of fun in the game. So yeah, always feel free to add me on this game. Absolutely love it. Definitely one of my go-tos. Play it regularly. Yeah, that's my gaming. I've got so many games to be honest. I could probably do several other videos on them, which I may do in the future. Now onto my music tastes. This is very diverse, to be honest. I'm really into Periphery. Went to see these late last year in concert. Absolutely amazing. Sort of heavy metal gent kind of stuff. Next up is uh, Cradle of Filth. Been into these since the 90s. It's pretty much just black metal. Very dark. It's an acquired taste, but really into them. I have a lot of diverse tastes in music. Along with that, I like to listen to a lot of sort of video game music as well, which I actually use as backing tracks for a lot of my videos. And this one in particular is Radiant Silver Gun from the Sega Sound, and one of my all time favourite games, and such a good soundtrack to it. But yeah, you'll notice these are all on vinyl as well. I do have quite a big vinyl collection. 
I just like the physicality of owning things on like discs and vinyl. I'm not much of a digital fan. If I can get a physical thing, I'll go with the physicals. So I'll just have a look at what's coming up next. I think you've had enough of me rambling on for a while. But just before I go, a few more ramblings. So here's up. Next is that old Hot Wheels Ford Escort RS 1600. As you can see, the paint stripped off. I've already selected a set of wheels which fit quite nicely. So I'll get onto that at some point. I got requested down in my comments on a video a while back from a guy called Tom Duffy. He wants to see a Chevy Silverado. Managed to track one down, a bit battered up on eBay. So I'll be doing that shortly. And I uh, will be doing this Mercury Cougar. These were one of my favourite muscle cars, really. I really love the sort of look of the Mercury Cougars. I've actually done a couple of Cougars already on the channel, but yeah, can't have too many, so I'll be doing a third. So yeah. Anyway, I just wanted to speak a bit more freely about how things are on YouTube and what may lie in for the future of my channel with it, really. I have noticed from sort of a, the beginning of the year, I would say, a bit of a sharp drop off in views and sort of subscribers, really. I, I think YouTube has changed with the way it promotes and recommends videos. It seems this sort of side of um, YouTube is just not really getting promoted anymore. Uh, it's a bit of a shame, really. I really do enjoy being in this sort of community, but it just seems YouTube's just kind of put the rug over us. The community that we've got is very small and it doesn't seem to grow all that much. I mean, middle of last year there was an influx of people like me and loads of other sort of customizers all joining YouTube and sort of getting quite big, but it seems the changes with the sort of child restrictions has uh, really hampered our community. So we'll see. I may just consider, I don't know, going into other things, maybe some video gaming and other bits and bobs, which actually I do have some plans in the future and a few more videos of going away from the diecast stuff and maybe doing something else. But we'll see in a few more months, I suppose, and see what comes of that. Anyway, I'll put a sock in it for now, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.